Hello everyone. Welcome to topic four, deep learning for computer vision. In this topic, we will give an overview and introduction to deep learning and neural networks. We will give a general introduction on neural networks, fully connected neural networks, and convolutional neural networks, which give you the ability to build your own deep learning models to solve computer vision related tasks. We will also provide some examples on how to improve deep learning neural network models. Before we deep dive into the technical details of deep learning and computer vision, let's take a look at the overview and some background information for this topic. Neural networks are one of the most beautiful programming paradigms invented. In the conventional approach to programming, we would tell the computer what to do, breaking big problems up into many small, precisely defined tasks that the computer can easily perform. By contrast, neural network learns from observational data, figuring out its own solution to the problem at hand. Automatically learning from data sounds promising, However, until 2006, we didn't know how to train neural networks to surpass more traditional approaches, except for a few specialized problems. What changed in 2006 was the discovery of techniques for learning in so-called deep neural networks. These techniques are now known as deep learning. They have been developed further. And today, deep neural networks and deep learning achieve outstanding performance on many important problems in computer vision, speech recognition, and natural language processing. They are being deployed on a large scale by companies such as Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. In this topic, we will help you master the core concept of neural networks, including modern techniques for deep learning. After working through the practicals, you will have written code that use neural networks and deep learning to solve complex image recognition problems. And you will also have a foundation to use neural networks and deep learning to attack your own problems. In the first part, we'll introduce you to the field of deep learning and help you answer many questions that people are asking today. Like what is the trend of deep learning? And how to do deep learning in artificial neural networks? You will learn about the architecture of artificial neural network models and understand different concepts related to neural networks such as activation functions and loss functions. Inventors have long dreamed of creating machines that is able to think. Until recently, nearly every computer program that we interact with daily was coded by software developers from first principles. To build the brains of our applications, we would have to step through every possible corner case that we anticipate encountering, devising appropriate rules. This field rapidly tackle and solve problems that are intellectually difficult for human beings, but relatively straightforward for computers and this is based on mathematical rules. But the true challenge to artificial intelligence proved to be solving the task 
that are easy for people to perform, but hard for people to describe formally. Imagine we are tackling the following problems. To write a program that predicts tomorrow's weather, given geographic information, satellite images, and a training window of past weather. In this case, even an elite programmer are incapable of coding up solutions from scratch. The reason is the program that we are looking for follows a pattern that changes over time. And we need our program to adapt. In other words, the relationships, say between pixels or abstract categories, may be too complicated requiring thousands or millions of computations that are beyond our conscious understanding, even if our eyes can manage the task easily. Deep learning is the study of powerful techniques that can learn from experience. As a deep learning algorithm accumulates more experience, typically in the form of observational data, or interaction with an environment, its performance improves. Much of the change with the ready availabilities of large amount of data due to the World Wide Web, the advent of companies serving hundreds or millions of users online, a dissemination of cheap, high quality sensors, cheap data storage, and cheap computation, in particular in the form of GPUs, originally engineered for computer gaming. Suddenly, algorithms and models that seem computationally infeasible become relevant. It is evident that Random access memory has not kept pace with the growth in data. At the same time, the increase in computational power has outpaced that of the data available. This means that statistical model needs to become more memory efficient. This is typically achieved by adding nonlinearities. While simultaneously, being able to spend more time on optimizing these parameters due to an increased computational budget. Consequently, the sweet spot in machine learning and statistics move from generalized linear models and kernel method to deep neural networks. This is also one of the reasons why many of the mainstays of deep learning, such as multi-layer perceptrons, convolutional neural networks, long short-term memories, and Q-learning, were essentially rediscovered in the past decade, after laying comparatively dormant for considerable time. AI has a long history of delivering results that would be difficult to accomplish otherwise. Financial transactions are checked for fraud automatically. This forms the backbone of many e-commerce payment systems, such as PayPal, Strip, Alipay, WeChat, Apple, Visa, and MasterCard. Computer programs for chess have been competitive there for decades. Deep learning feeds search, recommendation, personalization, and ranking on the internet. In other words, deep learning is pervasive, albeit often hidden from sight. It is only recently that AI has been in the spotlight mostly due to solutions to problems that were considered intractable previously and that are directly related to consumers. Many of such advances are attributed to deep learning. 
intelligent assistants such as Apple Siri, Amazon's Alexa, and Google's Assistant are able to answer spoken questions with a reasonable degree of accuracy. This is likely the most noticeable sign that deep learning is affecting our daily lives. A key ingredient in digital assistant is the ability to recognize speech accurately. Gradually, the accuracy of such system have increased to the point where they reach human parities for certain applications. Object recognition, likewise, has come a long way. Estimating the object in a picture was a fairly challenging task in 2010. On the ImageNet benchmark, researchers from NEC Labs and University of Illinois at Urban Champaign achieved a top five error rate of 28%. By 2017, this error rate was down to 2.25%. Similarly, stunning results have been achieved for identifying birds or diagnosing skin cancer. Games used to be a symbol of human intelligence. AlphaGo reached human parity in 2015 using deep learning combined with Monte Carlo tree sampling. This illustrates the impressive progress in games and the fact that advanced algorithms play a crucial part in them. Another indication of progress in deep learning is the advent of self-driving cars and trucks. While full autonomy is not quite within reach yet, excellent progress has been made in this direction. With companies such as Tesla, NVIDIA and Waymo shipping products that enable at least partial autonomy. What makes full autonomy so challenging is that proper driving requires the ability to perceive, to reason, and to incorporate rules into a system. And presence, deep learning is used primarily in the computer vision aspect of these problems. The rest is heavily tuned by engineers.